Yeah, I'm just saying some some random shit sometimes. <laughs> A bit hot here, should have. Oh, this is my apartment. I mean, really happy with it. It really feels like my own place at the moment. I'm living here a year now and it feels like an awesome place. It's not that big maybe, but I don't need a big place. I just have all my stuff here and working place, sleep place. Yeah, I enjoy my stay here a lot. This is a present I had from my uh, dad actually uh, on my birthday. He made an uh, I, I, I didn't know what to ask and I say just surprised me and he made, yeah, that's super awesome. Um, this one was uh, when I became European champion, the left in the middle. The left at the downside, it was actually my first really big tournament at the Dreamac in Sweden. Before that was my reaction or, or the, my reaction when I uh, almost couldn't realize what actually happened. And it's mainly all uh, from the European Championship. It's really a personal uh, present, so I've, I felt it pretty awesome and now it's like hanging here in my room. Might already go Reno soon because we're just so low on life. Oh, sorry. oh wow. Does he have a kill command? <laughs> okay, that's the end of the game. One turn before we called Reno. Yeah, that's the right animal companion. <laughs> Cannot win all the games. My favorite class is, I think, Druid. But my favorite deck is probably Freeze Mage. Some people really find it a scumbag deck, I know. <laughs> but, and I'm one of them. <laughs> well, if you make, if you let me paint, it will also look that way, I think so. Cannot be good at everything, right? I tried it once. I, I really enjoyed like doing some painting, but I'm just too bad. Like. <laughs> I grew up here uh, 20 minutes away in an, a bit smaller city. I'm actually happy that you don't really get noticed on the street here that much. Like the people that like in my city, people know where I am, but that are just the people that I know also. But not getting recognized, it's also like, I don't wanna, I just wanna be myself here mainly. Well, if you haven't taken stroke waffle, in Netherlands, you have never had that Dutch feeling. What is it? It's a, it's a cookie, kind of, with, uh, with honey in it. And uh, has an amazing taste. We're gonna try one. We got it here. You can see? It's like a, it's like a cookie. Uh, it's called strobe apple. It's honey in it. and. You can do it, you can eat it uh, cold or uh, more hot, but it's a, tip it's a typical Dutch thing. It's amazing. Mm. Oh wow, I think we are lucky. I think there should come one in two minutes. Definitely lucky. Sometimes lucky. Mm. Uh, can I get one ticket, Kaifen? Yeah, sometimes I make my life pretty stressful or I'm doing a lot and when I'm going in the bus I realize, yeah, you always have these moments where you can just calm a bit down and take time for yourself. Here we 
the R. This is uh, my, the house where I grew up, my parents' house, and uh, uh, let's go in. Hey, hey, Disho! Hey, hey, ah, hey, we are yeah. Oh, hey. Good folk, good folk. Okay, so this is my... Oh, my mother even cleaned it. I just see now. My mother cleaned it. Normally it's a mess, but today it's not. This is, the, this is where I grew up. Or this was my uh, bedroom. You see, I'm a big supporter of FC Twente. I really was. Uh, this was a day that... Um, like before the players go on their road to, um, to the field, you have like people staying there with the flag and I was, this day I was one of them, so pretty cool. As you see, oh, as you see, like I love painting. I was pretty bad at it, uh, to be honest, but I wanted to be good at painting. But at the end, like you see, like I have some cool paintings just making for random stuff. Um, Normally when I wanted to give him birthday presents, I always like painted something. It was like my birthday present, like, oh, what is this, man? I think I did this when I was like eight or something. No matter what I do, if I do something, I want to be one of the best. One and a half year ago, but this was my first major title. Like I've had a lot of like titles last year, but this was really my first one. Uh, it was Dream Act Bucharest. Um, really... Not that wasn't that known yet at all, but this was really one of my ways how I made my way into Hearthstone winning Dream Act Bucharest. And the month after I was second place at Dream Act Summer, so winning was really overwhelming for me. I didn't expect it, I didn't have that I just wanted to go far, I didn't have any prediction of getting so far and I realized at this moment when I won Dream Act Bucharest I realized that this can be my thing that I, I'm just really good at the game. I have no clue what this is, so oh <laughs> that was when I was really young. Here, here I was already super gracie. Do you see how gracie I can be? Even when I was young I was already just like nah. <laughs> When I went to high school, I was really unsure about myself. I didn't know what I really wanted. I didn't know who I wanted to be. Um, I was also getting a bit bullied maybe, but that was mainly because of myself. I was like just so unsure and I took everything really hard. And I had a really hard time when I grew up, but I think it's good to let everybody know that everybody has this stage in his life once and it made me way stronger. So now I'm just really always myself. I'm just the guy who I want to be. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Doug means a lot for me. It's like, grew up with him and I'm not here anymore, but like, every time if you were not happy, like he will just get, come to you and just cheer you up. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> and he lost me. <laughs> yeah, he saw. For my future goals in life, for now I really uh, want to be uh, a good Hearthstone player and it's like something I have a lot of fun at. But for me it's just really important to do always the things I really uh, enjoy and I just want to be really uh, happy with myself, proud of myself, proud of my family and yeah happy about it.